Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome, welcome. I am so excited to be here with Dr. Lita. I know some of you have heard me talking about this. If you don't know Dr. Lita, she is a doctor of acupuncture and oriental medicine and a national wellness expert helping individuals maintain and achieve their healthcare goals. But she does this in a totally different way. So Lita's one of my doctors. She's incredible. She's so much more than a doctor. She's also going to be talking to us today about the Chinese New Year. And what does it mean that we're in the year of the water rabbit? I think this is so important to understand and has so much to do with you being healthy and feel amazing this year. But Lita believes that with the proper support, our bodies can return to healthy function at almost any age. She's been treating patients for over 17 years, and she understands the frustration that we feel when we're, we're trying to achieve wellness in a healthcare system that focuses on symptom management rather than really identifying and addressing the root causes. I think many of us can relate to this. I know many of you listening to the podcast are wellness practitioners, um, energy medicine experts, uh, wellness consultants, coaches, healers, you understand this stuff. So Lita's got an amazing approach. She brings mindset, high-level training, genetic testing, lab work, clinical experience, and of course, the Chinese medical paradigm um, to the table. And she's been helping thousands of individuals feel amazing and live the lives that they're desiring for many, many years. She has an in-person practice, yay for me, in Santa Cruz, California, but she's also online at drlita.com. And we'll pop her um, website here in the comments and in the show notes and Dr. Lita, thank you so much for being here. And you know, every year I kind of kneel at your feet and ask you about what we have in store in the new year. So let's start there. And then I want to hear kind of how you came to arrive at all of this yourself too. Oh my gosh, so glad to be with you here today, Sage. Thank you so much. Well, you know, it's an exciting time. I mean, can we just have an exhale from the tiger year <laughs> or known as 2022? That was a that was a rough one. And you know, I'll tell you one thing that the I could sum up this coming year in one sentence. I mean, if you know anything about rabbits or bunnies, they're soft, they're cuddly. I mean, they actually don't go in a straight line. So for you women business owners out there, just know that when you're looking them hop down a trail, they go right, they go left, they go right. So you're still moving forward. <laughs> but this year is going to offer us what I call a sweet exhale. So if you have a favorite chair in your home and you know at the end of the day, you just kind of hop in that chair. That's what it is. Think a long exhale, think bubbles, think roses, and think travel. So there is so much goodness happening with this year. Um, you know, some of you know about Western astrology. So the rabbit is associated with the month of March. So the Pisces, um, which is great. Uh, the rabbit's associated with the moon. So often when you look at the moon, you can see a rabbit in the moon. Um, but it's also represented from the spring. So it's about growth, new growth, okay? And then full swing. So a lot of energy there bursting out. Really good for business this year. And I'm going to give you some practical stuff. But just know that um, 5 to 7 a.m. is the time of day. So be thinking, if you're a business owner and you're, you're wanting to really cultivate and use like kind of the energy behind, like the wind behind your back, work on the most important parts of your business between 5 and 7 a.m., no matter where you live around the globe. And, you know, and one more thing I'll say before I pass it back to you, Sage, is that, you know, this is a yin water year. There's always an element um, and a yin yang component to the cycles, the five element cycles of the 12 animals. So just know that a yin water year means it's going to be a little bit more mellow than last year. Tiger was a big energy, um, less confront confrontational, which we're all happy about. But the flip side is that there is this secret energy, right? So there might be some shocks along the way. And so we just have to know that the best way to cultivate yourself and to not be thrown off who you are, and especially in regards to your work, is to use this water element, use the stillness. 
And from there, get clarity on where the decision needs to be. And when you get connected to yourself and you stay in that element of yin, and that's part of our feminine operating system, you can't go wrong. And that's really important to know in this kind of year because it's completely different energy than last year. I love how you said feminine operating system. I want to hear more about that. And I want to hear more about, for those of us that are type A, we're drivers. We like to get stuff done. How do we continue to feel productive and like we're going for it at the pace we want to go for it in a year like this? Yeah, great question. So so basically you have to understand the chi or the energy of the rabbit and then also with around your career, your money, your influence, your finances. So rabbit year, you got to be a team player, okay? Diplomacy intact are one of the rabbit's best qualities. So I want you to adopt an attitude this year that all of us is more important than me. Okay, so what this looks like is do things to promote your employees or your colleagues. I mean, make them look good. Okay, because when you work for the good of your group and work for the good of your company, you really minimize some of the negative stars, which is like politics and gossip. Okay, and we need I know you promote this, Sage. This is all about sisterhood. We're not in a time where women are competing anymore. Okay, so so you want to be helpful. Think of a rabbit. They are cheerful cuddly. I mean, you know, I believe everybody probably likes rabbits, but they're low drama. Okay. They're, they're, they have a positive upbeat attitude. So if you can do that, that's going to be well, but there's a timing aspect. Okay. So this is around career. So rabbits don't act rashly. Okay. So I want you to be thoughtful with your business decisions. Um, and they famously plan. Okay, that's how they actually get ahead. It looks like they're getting ahead pretty easily, but they they are planning. Okay, so I want you to think of yourself as a chess master. (laughs) Okay, so so I want you to like, you know, whether it's making investments or hiring people or, you know, launching something else. I mean, chess, you know, you got to have a little bit of wit. And then there will be a little bit of difficult situations. We know about the stars that influence like market and retrograde and whatnot. But I will say that if you can find a little bit of joy or sense of humor in the mundane and have a good sense of humor, sprinkle a little wit, you're going to have everybody at work smooth, singing your praises, really celebrating you as a leader. There's a little bit of timing. okay? but I will say that with money. um, What can I say? Be cautious with money. Okay, because, you know, a lot of us like to invest in our in our business. So I didn't say be scared. I want you to be cautious. The rabbit is a wood animal. So we look for investments that are small, overlooked, undervalued. Okay, could be a person that you're trying to hire, um, could be a new company. Maybe they're just starting out. That's the energy of this year. Um, And then, of course, you know, error of always on the side of uh, security. But I will say that rabbits like security. Okay, we I mean, everybody kind of likes security, but rabbits like they're kind of sensitive. They're small animals. So if you're absolutely certain about something, you you make you can make a, a, a more risky, you know, hire or, you know, again, whatever that looks oh, like. Oh, good. I'm business. glad you said that. I literally <laughs> just invested about $100,000 today before I talked to you. I was like, wow, I've really had an expensive year so far. <laughs> I, I just hired this new incredible sales team to come in. But like, I feel so good. It's like a no brainer. And so I'm really glad you said that because they're not small investments, but we've been, we've been building toward this. And it actually feels like I'm like, I literally energetically lead to feel like I'm hopping. Like Mm -hmm. I was telling Drew that I was like, I feel like I'm hopping into this next chapter of my business right now. Like, I wonder if I'm starting to, yeah, like smell the, Mm -hmm. smell the transformation of the rabbit. I love this. I love it. Well, the last thing I'll say about this, you know, for our listeners is that there's a really cool mantra I would say for, for the rabbit around money is little acorns grow into mighty oaks. And that absolutely will happen. So, so, so that's, that's a really good, you know, when you're scared, just push the needle, push the needle. And, and with big investments, like I said, as long as you do your due diligence, you don't want to miss out and you can feel secure and confident in that investment stage. So you just, again, due diligence. It's like, and like that feminine operating system, we're not, we're operating from that wholeness place. We're not making rash young decisions. It's yin, right? So good job on that. (laughs) (laughs) 
Well, I just want to say to all of you, like those of us that we know how to get it done, like we know how to work, we know how to show up. What I love about this is that this year really is a good year for that feminine operating system to kick into place where we're not working harder, we're working smarter because we all know it's not just about how hard we work. It's not just about the content we put out. It's about aligning with our future customers. It's about a values alignment. It's about a deeper trusting of ourselves. What did you say the other day, Lita? You're like, you know, when JFK found out about, you know, missiles off the coast, like he didn't actually go into immediate reaction. Like he went and swam in his pool and meditated. Like he was like, wait, what really needs to happen right now? I need to drop into that deeper awareness. And so I just love that story. And um, Lita, would you just say a little bit more about the water? Because like this, we were talking about the slippery bunny and it's going to be a sexy year. And I was telling Drew, we're like already printing out some sexy pictures for our wall in our bedroom. I probably shouldn't be saying that on the podcast, but this is a podcast where anything goes. So I just want to hear from you. Can you talk about the water element of the water rabbit? Yes. So the water element, you have to understand that um, water is a currency. It's a carrier. Okay. So it's very similar to money, right? Whatever you project onto it, it can trickle. It can be a tidal wave. It has this amazing potential energy, but you have to be in relationship with it. If you don't give water a boundary, so earth will say, you know, you got to go around me. The river's going to go around the earth. If I, you can put water in a shot glass to a big picture. So you have to give yourself a container as a business owner, you, you know, you are leading, you're stewarding and conducting your life and your business. And so you have to, you know, if you have kids, you give your kids a container, right? So what I say is you want to manage your chi, not your time. Every two hours, your energy is in different meridian in your body, which means you have different access to different resources. Very similar to you get up in the morning, you might have a great morning. The early afternoon is kind of, you know, not great. And then it gets great at night, right? So I always remind people that this is about, you know, we don't have to ask people for advice ultimately as women. You don't because your intuition is one of your greatest superpowers. And with the water element right now, we're in the water element as of, you know, we're in January, February, 2023. So we're absolutely in the water element, but also the water is influencing the rabbit. And this means you go and you sit still long enough in the silence with yourself to hear, to hear the message from your soul, the whispers that's guiding you, you know, whatever it is, because ultimately, you know exactly who you are and you know what you're doing. And we get confusion is a strategy and we don't need to do that anymore. I love this. I love this because 2023 is slated to be a very auspicious year for the transformational industry, for the personal development industry. And I really believe that that's because we are shifting back toward this yin energy, this trusting of our intuition. And we, as mentors, part of our job is to create containers for our clients, right? It's what many of you that are listening to this podcast are doing, you're actually creating containers in the way that we create a container for our children in the way that our primary relationship might be a container. If we're not in one, we recreate a container for ourselves. We create structures to be able to thrive in. Um, Lita was just remarking, I just put the finishing touches on my office, just moved back into my original home here in Santa Cruz. So I just want to put a stake in the ground that every single one of you lean into your feminine operating system, make decisions on where you want your container to live this year. Who are your mentors? What are the structures you're putting into place? Who are you hiring to support you with your business? your health and your relationships. Um, I'm consistently getting real, you know, support in all three areas. I know Lita is too. Lita is available to support you with your health if you're having any kind of health concerns. And I just want to continue to put a stake in the ground that you get yourself so supported that you can be that strong woman holding that container for your audience, that you can open up your heart and open up your arms and reach that bigger audience, whether it's on social media, uh, whether it's on in your business, whether you're leading group programs, because a lot of that work has to do with you being supported so you can op open up your arms and be that solid force for others. And Lita, you know, I guess I just want to hear from you and I'd love for our audience to hear about your journey because, you know, one of the reasons I've hired you is you've healed yourself from cancer. You've healed other people from some really 
serious diagnosis. And I know we don't want to get too much into the weeds there, but I love what you believe your primary belief is that our bodies know how to return to health. And I, I believe that too. You know, I started out as a, as a wilderness guide. I'm, I'm a nature girl. And so when you look out in nature, you see like, we have a blueprint for wholeness. And, um, can you share a little bit about your journey with us? How did you get into all this? How did you become so freaking wise and amazing? (laughs) You're cute. Well, the short story is that, you know, my sister is my best friend and she got diagnosed with a a, a very, you know, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, but it had metastasized to three vital organs. And basically the doctors in Boston said she had three, maybe six months to live. And I was actually working in San Francisco at the time. Um, I was like 23 years old. So long story short, I didn't know anything about health at this point. Um, Like, absolutely not. Never been to an acupuncturist or, you know, I didn't know about kale or avocados, but I did get into herbal medicine. I got into food as medicine and energy medicine and she healed and the doctors couldn't believe it. And my sister, absolutely. And my family, um, I'm one of the reasons or one of the main reasons She is alive today. So not from an ego place, but just this was a huge turning point in my life because I was really upset that, you know, yes, these experts and doctors in Boston, you know, are giving her a finite sentence from numbers on a piece of paper. And I know there's more to the story. I knew that in my bones. And I said to myself, if I could remind people the truth about who they are, that the the energy that created the body you know, the consciousness that created the body can heal the body, that there's more to the story. You are more than just your physicality. So I committed myself to reminding people about this power that they're in relationship with. And we start creating disease when we're disconnected. And a lot of the work I do is to make sure that we are connected because especially as women, if we have decided to start a business, you, you know, it takes all of who you are and you bring that to your business. So if you are not radically courage, courageous enough to say, oh my God, I'm not being my own best friend right now. You know, I'm sabotaging myself for all the other things that we do. That's not an act of love. Then you're actually out of integrity, you know, with the truth of you. And that's what you show up as in your business. And so what I love to do is, of course, run the labs, look at the stuff we can measure. It's amazing what we have access to in 2023. But let's also turn to and equally value what we can not measure. And that's the wisdom of the Chinese medical paradigm. It's really, it's poetic. Um, And I really am grateful to be able to really understand both sides and be able to hold that and really find that, you know, place, that one place in the, you know, the patient in front of me where we need to really find, bring them back to wholeness. And it's actually not that complicated. Yeah. It's, it's so powerful to see your healing journey, to hear about your sister's healing journey. Mm -hmm. It's powerful to witness the, the stake that you're putting in the ground that we can return to health. And I, I got a big aha when you said, when we're disconnected, we, we manifest disease, you know, that, that, that true health. And I think many of us could agree, like when I feel like I'm on purpose, I'm healthy. When I feel connected, I'm healthy. When it's, when I start to feel disconnected, that I'll start to feel little things come on. And one of the things I've learned over the years is if I start feeling like my immune system's tanking, if I start feeling a little sore throat coming on to actually reach out somewhere where I know I can actually feel that love again and to, to, to make time to get back to what really has me feeling on purpose. And I've seen that in you too, Lita. And I just want to acknowledge you for that. And you know, this link between cultivating and prioritizing our health, it has everything to do with business. Because if you're the face of your brand, if you're a mentor, if you're a leader, if you're the CEO, if you're leading people in any way, shape or form, you've got to be healthy, like to be yeah. motiv- to be motivational. Like we get paid to be motivational, right? Like that's what we're, get- we're getting paid for. And I had resistance to that last year. I remember it was really coming up like, do I really want to have to be motivating to get paid? And then I was thinking, of course I do, because I want to be a motivating person. So how do I get better at this rather than shrinking from it? And, you know, you and I were talking about, um, Lita, when you have your health, you have a million dreams, but when you don't have your health, you have one dream. 
And so whatever is happening with you in your body, if you know there's something happening, I definitely recommend you check out Lita or check out someone like Lita. This is a really holistic approach. Um, I was having, um, you know, some vision problems last year, like my long distance vision in my right eye was starting to fade. And um, it's actually starting to come back after working with Lita. It's probably like 50 or 60% back after just working with Lita for the last couple months. And um, if you're not really focused on supplements, looking at your health as as a whole ecosystem of, of your body, your energy, your physical, spiritual, mental awareness. Um, you know, I just definitely want to hear from you, Lita. Like, I know one of the things you're really passionate about is women's health specifically and Chinese astrology and Chinese medicine has really been governing your expertise on that. But what, you know, why do you care so much? How, what is, yeah. What has this journey been like? Well, from a, like an indigenous standpoint, I know you know this sage, you know, I'll even even just say from a Chinese standpoint, we, we go through these 32, 30 year cycles. And we're on the last year or two of the masculine dominant cycle. And so what's great is from an indigenous standpoint, um, their mantra is that, you know, the other wing is rising. So then we can actually fly straight, the feminine wing, right? Very similar that coincides with the Chinese um, geomancy, the, the, the astrology, the metaphysics. So all this to say is that we know that if you identify as a woman, you know, um, I want to support you. And it's not that I'm not supporting men in my practice, but there's a real mission for me to really support women because we are the givers, you know, we, you know, we give, we, we bear the children, you know, it, and, and I, and I joke around, honestly, say with some of my patients, but if you actually look at our biology, we're wired to receive, right? I mean, we have a vagina, <laughs> we're wired to receive, but it's for some reason, it's the hardest thing. We feel so good giving. And if you go to the science and I know you're interested in neuroplasticity, Sage, they only see changes in the brain creating new you know, neurogenesis when we actually receive, not when we give. Yeah. So the other thing I just want to say is that as women business owners, you know, you have to get really good at discerning and distilling the most important thing. And, and I know Sage teaches you that, you know, what's the most important thing you do in your business, but from a personal standpoint, you know, this might be a really good year for you to learn a new skill, expand your network, build your business, improve relationships, level up at work. But all of those things require very different amounts of chi and they're very different, but they're all going to push the needle. So you have to understand that a tree, like if, you know, with energy, the last thing I'll say is with energy, it's like, if it's not rooted, it's like a tree that will fall over with no roots. So you can try to push the needle and show up and pretend that you're good and happy and but if there's no base and that's kind of around the adrenal and all that, if there's no root, um, you burn out, you know, you burn out. And I've seen way too many people burn out. We, you know, we know about Ariana Huffington face planning on her desk. I mean, way too many people, amazing women business owners that have pushed themselves because they do business like men. And it's high time that we stop. And it's also high time we stop guessing. So I'm a huge advocate, just like you, of support. Many people, we have someone that walks our dog or cleans our home. It's like, you need a team of people. And that's where we are. We're, we're you know, and I just love to be a part of uh, people's teams to be in their corner because we can't see our blind spots and it does take a village. So yeah, yeah, it does take a village. I have goosebumps <laughs> over so much of what you're saying. And basically what you're saying to us, Lita, is that if we get grounded and trust our intuition and get supported and allow ourselves to receive that our neuroplasticity is going to expand, that we're going to experience more bliss and more peacefulness, that as we take more time to be in stillness this year, that we're probably going to have amazing sex and we're going to get to be making decisions from the inside out and really being able to do more with less and work smarter, not harder. I'm kind of getting more and more excited about 20. Oh, and travel. And sex. Did I mention sex? I'm super excited <laughs> about this year. This is going to be an amazing year. I'm so grateful you came on this podcast so you could help us all 
uh, create more money and feel sexier this year. And of course, hop on a plane and go some really cool places. Hopefully come to Santa Cruz and attend one of our events. Mm -hmm. Hopefully come meet with Lita in person. She's amazing. I know Lita's actually giving our podcast audience um, a, um, a webinar that she recorded about how to really overcome exhaustion step out of any health sacrifices that you're making, how she was able to do that. Do you want to talk about this at all? Um, Lita, I highly recommend you guys take us up on this. We'll get you guys the link to this and I'll stick it on the, um, in the show notes and in the comments here with the video. Yeah. The one thing I will say is that, you know, we don't need to guess anymore. I've seen so many people trying a diet or lifestyle or, you know, no offense or keto or intermittent fasting because so, it worked for someone else or they try to supplement. They're like, oh, I need vitamin D. And they just take a lot of vitamin D because it's supposed to be good for them. We don't need to guess anymore. And, and you are such an individual sacred being. Why would you even guess on what is great for, you know, if you're, if that's not your domain, if you don't know herbal medicine, you're randomly putting things in your body. And so I'm a huge proponent for just like, if you don't know Facebook ads, you're going to hire someone for that. So I just really encourage you, you know, my webinar is about that, you know, again, you mentioned it, I, I did get breast cancer, I, I healed myself naturally. And I, I knew the cause I was stressed, I was building my business, I was starting a franchise, and I was driving myself to the ground. And I am, it is my hope that I can offer at least some, some basic fundamental principles that really helped me as a woman business owner, so that I could pass that on to others. Yeah. I get goosebumps when I think about what's possible. When we really take ourselves seriously, we take our health seriously. Um, it's just not enough to walk into a supplement aisle or a whole food store and ask the clerk, clerk behind the, the counter, you know, what to take for such and such symptoms because our body works as a whole, you know, everything in our nervous system, everything in our immune system, everything in our, di our digestive system, everything's affecting each other. And that's what you've brought to me, Lita, is a real understanding that you know, I need to really sit down and reassess at least once or twice a year, you know, how am I doing? What are, you know, how am I feeling? What might be going on with my body? How is it talking to me? And how do I need to adjust what I'm doing, what I'm putting in my body based on that? And I just, I'm so grateful for how quickly you and I were able to, you know, assess those things and, and, and just the results that I got. So, um, if you haven't already, um, headed over to drlita.com, head over to Dr. Lita's website. She's got a ton of information there and we'll get you the specific link to her webinar as well, so that you can take us up on that. And Lita, just thank you for being on purpose. Thank you for recommitting. I know that both you and I have had family setbacks, personal health setbacks, in the last five to seven years since we've gotten close. And every single time I see you, you're more lit up. You're more excited about your life. You're more in love with your incredible partner. And um, I just love being on that journey with you that when we, as that we're growing together, you know, that this is not, this is not personal stay the same. This is personal growth and we're in it and we're teaching it. And that's what we're about in our businesses. And that's what we're doing. And um, I hope that all of you can walk away just, feeling even more excited about this year and um, really consider checking out Dr. Lita's work. And Lita, what would you say to any woman here who's thinking, okay, this is all really inspiring, but um, you know, I still, I, I, I'm still not totally sure where to begin or I'm having some health concerns that, yeah, I, I really am feeling a little, you know, nervous about they've been in the background, but um, you know, I, I need to, I need to prioritize myself. Yeah. I, I will leave you with this. The best thing you can do for anybody that you love and employees or, or, or for your business, if you don't have employees yet, is to take care of yourself so someone else doesn't have to. And as I mentioned before, who you are in your totality is what you bring to your business. And so if you can, you know, have enough self-worth to say, I need to start with myself then you will be given a thousandfold blessings back in your in the form of your business and your relationships. It's it's really profound. So I say, you know, preparing your meals as an act of love, you know, everything, just really continue and, or start 
to develop a better relationship with yourself and get to know yourself who you are now. That is the best gift and start there. And the people that you want to support you will start to show up. Yeah. Yeah. Amen and a woman. <laughs> Let it be a breakout year for the feminine operating system. And Lita, I'm just so grateful to be your friend. I highly recommend you guys go check out Lita's webinar and we will see you on the other side. Keep rocking, keep thriving. Your clients are waiting for you. They're not just waiting for someone like you. They're actually waiting for the vibrant, healthy, you choosing you version of you and have a fun, slippery, wet rabbit year. Thanks everybody. everybody. Don't forget to hit subscribe so I can keep getting you weekly content to grow your business that is relevant, authentic, and effective so you can get out there and shine your light and be the messenger that you're here to be because your clients are waiting for you.